Hi, I'm Peter Norman. I'm the Corporate Account Manager for Iconics Imaging. Iconics Imaging is the world leader in sand carving products and equipment, supplying products domestically and worldwide in over 94 countries. We manufacture photoresist films, both wet process photoresist films and dry process photoresist films. Today, at the Arlington NBM Trade Show, we're going to be demonstrating our Rapid Mask dry process film. Rapid Mask is the industry's only dry process film for sandblasting products. We'll be demonstrating Rapid Mask in our Crystal Blast Elite, the industry's cleanest sand carving machine. With our Rapid Mask dry process film, you will be using a photo negative instead of a photo positive like used with the wet process films. So the first thing you'll do is print your image onto your artwork paper and then lay it against the rapid mask. We're using the standard Letrolite machine for doing the exposure. Rapid mask takes about two and a half to three minutes to expose. So once you're done exposing the rapid mask, all you have to do is take the stencil out of the electrolyte, cut the stencil out, and as you can see, we expose multiple items. So in the electrolyte, you can expose up to 11 inches by 14 inches, and you can use a full sheet of rapid mask. Depending on your artwork size, we have about seven items that we exposed. We'll cut the stencil out that we're going to use, and we're going to demonstrate sandblasting on a piece of glass. With sandblasting, you can sandblast basically almost any brittle substrate, anything such as ceramics or granite, you can sandblast stone, um, you can sandblast metal, um, so basically anything you can get the product to stick to, you can sandblast. So prior to applying your stencil, what you want to do is clean the substrate. Any substrate that you sandblast, you can use any type of cleaner, um, glass cleaner works great. This is going to take any oil off the substrate, anything that could cause the mask not to stick as well. Now with Rapid Mask, there are three layers. The first layer we're going to peel off is called a slip sheet. The slip sheet is protecting the adhesive layer. Once you peel that off, now you're at the actual stencil material itself. So we'll go ahead and apply the mask to the substrate. And we use pressure sensitive adhesive. So once you apply the mask, you just use pressure, apply pressure down, and this allows the mask to stick even better. The next step is peeling off your carrier sheet. The carrier is kind of holding everything together. You peel that off, and now you're at the stencil material. One thing that you do now is you'll just press down again, and then another safety procedure is using a wire wheel. This will penetrate any air bubbles that could potentially be in the piece that could potentially cause a lift off of the mask. So once you've done that, you need to protect the outer edges, the outer edges that you don't want sandblasted. So you can just use a standard masking tape just to apply around the piece. And during the sandblast process, this will protect the glass. Now, once you're done doing this, we're ready to sandblast. As you can see, there was no water washout and there was no drying. We just applied the mask and now we're ready to sandblast. Now, we're sandblasting in our Crystal Blast Elite. The Crystal Blast Elite is the industry's cleanest sand carving machine. We designed the Crystal Blast Elite from feedback from all of our customers that wanted something, a machine that was more ergonomic, easier to use, and a lot cleaner than standard sandblast machines. So basically, all the controls are ergonomic, eye level. The first thing you do is you'll turn on the dust collector. Once you turn the dust collector on, you make sure your machine is pressurized. And then you can adjust the air pressure that you're going to be sandblasting at right here, eye level. You don't have to reach down and adjust anything. Everything is eye level. To clean the dust collector, we wanted to automate that, so we put a pneumatic reverse pulse. All you do is press the button, and we have a chamber that collects the compressed air above the dust collector, and it shoots the compressed air at the filter, cleaning the dust yeah. off. Another feature that we've added was our foot pedal. This can be raised or lowered based on the height of the person. So as you're sitting in a stool, you can adjust it to the height. So 
We decided to do that just to make it a little more user friendly and instead of raising the cabinet up and down, raising the foot pedal creates a more stable sand carving unit. Another feature that we added is our backlight. When you're sandblasting a piece of crystal, a lot of times you want to inspect the glass, looking at it through a light to see if you've etched it deep enough. So the backlight allows you to sandblast and then put the piece up so you can see it and look through the backlight. So enough said, let's go ahead and go through the demonstration. So as you can see, as we're sandblasting the rapid mask, all the areas that the light hit, those areas became brittle and they're gonna start sandblasting away. So it's a very fast process and since we've eliminated the step of washing out, when we apply the mask directly on, there is no adhesion of mask lost in a washout process. You have complete 100% adhesion. So as you can see, we have a nice etch piece. Now, if you wanna go deeper with sandblasting, all you do is go across a couple more times and sandblast it a little deeper. So the longer you stay on the piece, the deeper it'll go. Now in our sandblaster, we also have an air blow off gun. So when you're done sandblasting, you can blow off the grit, clean your hands, and then pull it right out the arm ports. Now, as you can see, we have arm ports to put small pieces in. We also have a door on the side. Um, if you have a larger piece, you can put the piece through the door. But with the Crystal Blast Elite having a 700 CFM dust collector, the largest dust collector in the industry, we don't have to have cuffs on our ports. They're basic arm ports, so you can put small parts in and out and you don't have to worry about grit flying out. It keeps it extremely clean and extremely user friendly and it allows you to do many, many pieces very fast because you don't have to keep opening and closing the door. Another feature on our Crystal Blast Elite is our pressure pot cleanout port. We are the only manufacturer that puts cleanout ports on our pressure pots. The cleanout port is um, used for two purposes. Um, to drain the abrasive, it can be very slow. Sometimes customers, when they're putting new abrasive in, they want to have a faster method. So the clean out port would allow them to, you take the port out and you can scoop the abrasive out and it is a fast and easy way to get rid of the, the old abrasive. Another feature of having a clean out port is if you're sandblasting something that has liquid in it like a wine bottle and you break the bottle by accident in the cabinet, all that liquid is gonna get down in the grit and it's gonna turn it into sludge inside that pressure pot. By having a clean out port, you'll easily be able to take out the port and scoop that wet abrasive out. If you didn't have the clean out port, you would have to take the pressure pot off. So it's just a safety function and it allows the cabinet to be even more user friendly. So here's your finished piece. For more information on our Crystal Blast Elite sand carving equipment, our rapid mask, dry process, photoresist, or any products and equipment that Iconics Imaging sells, contact us at 800-643-1037 or visit our website, www.iconicsimaging.com. Thank you.